Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com and in this tutorial we're going to be going over basic CRUD operations using the Fetch API. So what the Fetch API allows us to do is basically make HTTP request. So what we're going to use is this fake API that I found online and I will put the links to this in the description below so don't squint your eyes trying to copy this. And basically these are the endpoints that we're going to be using. So we have our get, post, put, and delete requests. So to get started, we're just going to type fetch, and then this takes an argument. So now the argument is going to be the URL. So if I copy this and now paste this, now I have fetch being passed an argument of URL. Now this is going to return a promise. So what do we do with promises? We can then say then. And now here we have our callback and let's actually make this on a separate line so it's easier to see. So I have our then and now we have our basic response, the data that we get back from the server, from the API we're calling. And now here, I can return response.json. Now JSON is a method that's basically going to parse the data that we want and it's going to return a JavaScript object. Now response.json is actually a promise. So now what I can do with that? Well, we're going to chain it. So now I can say dot then and now we have another callback. And now here is actually going to be the parsed data. So now if I actually print this out and let me put it on a new line and type data. And now if I was to save this, head over to Chrome and now execute this, you can see that our get request uh, returns a hundred of this particular data. So nothing too fancy user ID one ID one and again this is all fake data and uh, if you follow the links within the description uh, you could look at the documentation and see for yourself so now let's actually try using the post request so I'm just gonna copy this and now I'm just going to paste this and now instead of passing in one argument, what we can do is pass in two arguments. So the first argument is going to be the URL that we want to hit. The second argument is going to be our options. So now, since I can say this is a method and this is going to be of type post, now we need something to post. So what else can I put? Well, let's post some fake data onto the API. So now I could say body and usually you send back data that's converted into JSON. So we're going to say JSON dot stringify and we're just going to pass in an object and basically this could be whatever you want. So I'm just going to say fake data and pass in one. And last but not least, we're going to have to tell the API, what kind of data that we're passing in. So we're going to have to give it some headers. So I'm just going to say headers. And basically what we're just going to do is give it very, very simplistic. And we're just going to say, Hey, this is basically JSON that we're trying to post. So now I'm just going to say application slash JSON. So this looks good. And if I was to save this and now head over to Chrome, execute it, you can see that our fake data gets uh, posted onto the fake API. And this is the response that they give us. So now if I head back to my editor and let's actually now focus on the put request. So basically when we want to edit something and then save it onto the database. So I'm just going to copy this and it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, you can see that the endpoint is different and that's probably because we have a URL parameter 
with one. Now one is probably going to be the ID. So now if I slash this and change this to one, and now again, let's just give it a fake property. So I'm just gonna say ID one, and this is just gonna be set to 200 for no reason. We're gonna change post to put, and let's see what else. And that's pretty much it. So this is the only difference. So if I was to save this, head over to Chrome, and now execute this, you can see that we updated the object. Now let's say that you didn't want to update the object, but you wanted to delete the object. Well, it's pretty much the same endpoint. So I'm just going to copy this. And we're actually going to remove a lot of this. So. Let's paste this and we are going to remove basically everything within here. Since we're not posting anything to the database, we're just going to change the method to delete. And then that's it. That's pretty much it. So we have our URL parameter one. It's basically going to say, hey, we wanted to delete the object that has the ID of one. So let's actually save this, head over to Chrome, and now execute it. And you can see that our delete statement is right here. Now, most likely you would probably want a successful uh, message or a failed message so that you successfully deleted the object or you failed deleting the object. But since this is a fake API, uh, this is okay. So that's pretty much the basics of using the fetch API to perform basic CRUD operations.